Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Listen, I have been going live um, quite often over the last couple of days, and it's because I want to connect with you and share more information with you and address any questions or concerns you may have for me. So listen, if you are joining me, come on in. Let me know um, who you are. Let me know if you are aspiring or if you are a growing coach. Today, I want to talk specifically about how becoming certified in your coaching niche will massively grow your coaching business. So if you've been wondering whether or not you should become Chase Great Niche Certified, I want to tell you why you should, right? I want to tell you how this can better support and better serve you and your coaching clients and truly help you generate the high impact and the high income that you desire in your coaching business. So for if this, if this is your first time joining me, welcome. I am your vision coach, Latoya early. I am the founder of Chase Great University, where we serve and support professional female startup coaches, helping you to become the expert in your coaching niche while building your six-figure coaching business. So I welcome you to the room. Um, we do that through our niche certification program. So I welcome you to the room. If you know anyone who could benefit from today's training, go ahead and tag them in the comments. I want to share with you how being niche how being niche certified will truly impact the growth of your coaching business. We've been sharing different strategies on, you know, the diff or I've been sharing different mistakes that coaches are making in their coaching business. And so today I wanted to focus specifically on being certified in your niche and how this is going to help you avoid some of the mistakes that, you know, that we are, that some of the coaches are making in their coaching business as a startup coach. So if you've had the opportunity to check out some of my lives, um, they are located on my personal page. If you're looking to uh, learn six different mistakes that startup coaches are making that is impacting the growth of their coaching business, then I encourage you to go ahead and um, check that out. Check out the training so that you can identify whether or not you are uh, stunting the growth of your coaching business. OK, so again, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am excited to share with you today um, why being certified in your coaching niche will massively grow your coaching business. And so we're going to talk about the importance of establishing yourself as the expert. The last training that we did, we talked about whether or not you were showing up as the expert or if you were showing up as an experiment. And so when we talk about growing your coaching business, there are so many different things that I want you to consider. OK, there's a lot of different things that I want you to consider. The first thing that I want you to consider is what is the overall goal of my coaching business? Right. Am I doing this as a hobby? Is it something to do to, for pastime? Um, what is the goal of your coaching business? If you are building your business in efforts to create wealth and longevity, then there's a certain formula that you want to make sure you're implementing. Right now, if you're only building this business because this is something that you want to do on your pastime, this is something that you want to do um, just as a hobby, then this may not be necessarily for you. But if you know that you've been assigned by God to show up and serve people on a certain level, then I am speaking directly to you. So we're talking about how being certified in your coaching niche can massively grow your coaching business. So number one, let's talk about about credibility. Now, for those of you who are just getting started in the coaching space, whether or not you are an aspiring coach, you're a growing coach, know that um, your level of credibility is extremely important, right? Your level of credibility is what drives that level of influence. And it's what's really, it, it's what helps your client identify whether or not they should make the four figure investment into your coaching program. When a, a lot of times when coaches get started, they don't go through certification programs. Keep in mind, we are in a non-regulated industry. And so do you need to be certified as a coach? 
No, but being certified as a coach not only helps helps you truly nurture your gift of coaching, but it also helps you develop the skill of coaching and grow your business in coaching, right? Grow your coaching business. And one of the things we offer here at Chase Great University is the skill and the strategy to nurture the gift of coaching, to mature and, and develop the skill of coaching, and to truly grow the business side of coaching. Those are three different areas. And so most times when we get started in the coaching space, we get started as life coaches, right? We get started as, cli as life coaches and we're like, listen, I'm just excited to coach. I just want to serve people. I just want to go out and, and provide my programming and my offer. But when you are focusing on solving a specific problem in your coaching business, it establishes a level of massively grow your coaching business. It um, increases your credibility. It establishes you as the expert. The difference between life coaching certification and niche certification, life coaches focuses on providing you the skill to help individuals in, in, in life per se. I mean, it sounds pretty um, self-explanatory, but the difference between life coaching and niche certification or life coach certification and niche certification is in the niche certification program. We're focused on focusing on helping you establish yourself as the expert. One thing that I, one way that I like to uh, describe life coaching versus niche coaching or specialty coaching is think about your primary care physician, right? You go to your primary care physician and I consider the primary care physician to be a life coach. You go to the primary care physician, they're able to check you out and check out different things that you may have going on. But say, for instance, you need special work for your heart, for your kidney, for your ear, nose and throat, for your feet. Right. Guess what? That primary care physician is going to do what? They're going to send you to a specialty coach right? I'm sorry, a specialty doctor, right? They're going to send you to a specialty doctor. And being niche certified is what we consider the specialty doctor. Instead of us reviewing your entire body, we're going to focus on your kidneys. We're going to focus on your uh, hands. We're going to focus on your ears or your, no or your nose or your throat or whatever it is that you're going to the specialty doctor for. So the niche certification program allows you to focus in on solving a specific problem for your specific ideal client. This increases your credibility. Again, coaching certification is not, it, it isn't necessary, but it absolutely is necessary if you truly want to mac maximize your gift in coaching. Why? Because in here at Chase Great University, not only do we help you nurture the gift in coaching, but we also help you grow the skill of coaching. I'm sorry, develop the skill of coaching and grow the coaching business. Right. So we're talking about how being certified in your coaching niche will massively grow your coaching business. Welcome to the room, Celeste. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on being certified last year. Congratulations to you. If you're joining us, please feel free to jump into the comments. Let me know who you are. If you're an aspiring coach, if you're a growing coach, if you're a growing coach, if you're certified as a life coach, let me know. Um, that's one of the questions I get all the time. Latoya, I'm already a certified life coach. Why should I become certified in my niche, right? What this is doing is this is taking your coaching business to the next level. Yes, I've, be, I've become certified as a life coach, but now I'm ready to become a expert in solving a specific problem. When you establish yourself as the expert, it increases your level of credibility, right? your level of credibility. Number two, here's the second thing that becoming certified in your coaching niche and how it'll massively grow your coaching business is that it enables or it, um, it, it increases your ability to convert. It increases your convertibility. Here's why. In Chase Great University, we teach you about niche specific content, right? 
And so most problems that coaches have when it comes to um, when it comes to you establishing yourself as the expert is knowing how to create content that speaks directly to your specific ideal client. Here in Chase Great University, we teach you coach to client language. This is what's going to help you learn how to speak directly to your specific ideal client in your niche specific content. This is what helps with the convertibility. Why? Because when your specific ideal client know that you're speaking to them, then it changes how they receive your information. When you're able to speak to the problem that they are currently experiencing, then it changes how they see or how they are accepting or receiving the information. So it increases your convertibility because you are building an audience about, around a specific topic. And so now it's easier for the specific ideal client to become an enrolled client because they know that you have the solution to their problem. Right? So we're talking about how being certified in your coaching niche, how it'll massively grow your coaching business. We've talked about increasing your credibility. We're talking about increasing your convertibility, learning how to create niche specific content, learning how to use um, specific wording, coach to client language so that you're sure to speak to your specific ideal client. And then lastly, or the third, because I do have a total of four, the third is it massively increases your visibility, right? If you're wondering, how do I? How do I stand out in the industry, right? The coaches coaches are growing by the day. This industry is growing rapidly. Um, we have coaches coming from all over the place, which is an amazing thing because coaching is a solution, right? It's a solution to a problem. And I believe that people should work with coaches um, to help coach you from where you are to where you truly desire to be. But how will you stand out as a mindset coach? How will you stand out as a self-care coach? How will you stand out as a freedom coach? What type of coach did God call you to become? And are you confident in showing up as that type of coach? Do you have the right clarity so that you can make sure you're maximizing the assignment as the coach, right? I believe that there's two types of coaches. There's the coach who is called to coach, and then there's the coach who chooses to coach. Here at Chase Great University, we serve the coach who is called to coach. We are a coaching resource we are a coaching resource for end of, for believers who are looking to establish themselves as the expert in fulfilling his purpose and fulfilling God's purpose, right? We talk about those three areas that we serve in here at Chase Gray University. And it's the gift of coaching, the skill of coaching, and the business of coaching. You were born with the gift of coaching, right? It's an innate behavior. If you've noticed, some of you have been coaching your entire life, right? This is why one of our models is not to start the business off as a new coach because you're not new to coaching. You're only new to monetizing coaching. You've been coaching your entire life. That's that's the reason why you keep finding yourself attracting to the coaching space. That's the reason why you're finding yourself wanting to grow your coaching business because it's an assignment. It's a call. And so once you begin to truly mature and nurture that gift and you begin to develop the skill and grow the business, now you've learned how to take the gift that God has given you and multiply, right? We talk about creating wealth. One of the questions that we get all the time is how do you how do you differentiate between ministry and coaching? And my solution to that all the time is ministry is in my heart. Listen, Christ lives in me. So there's no way for me to separate me and Christ. So there isn't a ministry and a business. There's a business who has ministry because it is led by someone who has ministry in her heart. Understand your client is not investing in ministry. They're investing in the strategy that you're able to provide for them from to help them go from where they are to where they desire to be. The benefit of working with a, a coach who's a believer is that you know that they're not doing it solely on what they think and what they believe. This is where the ministry comes in because before I coach or before I um, do what I'm called to do, guess what? I seek God. And so this is where we begin to nurture the gift of coaching, where you're able to truly hear from God so that you can serve your clients at a different level. Right. So we're talking about um, 
we're talking about how being certified in your coaching niche, how it'll massively um, increase the growth in your coaching business. We've talked about how it'll increase your credibility. It establishes you as the expert. It'll increase your convertibility because you're surrounding your content around a specific topic. And then it'll increase your visibility because you're showing up as the expert and you're showing up well-versed and well-educated in a particular topic, right? And so this is how, this is the key to hitting the six-figure money milestone in your coaching business. It's narrowing your niche and becoming niche specific in your business. Here's the fourth and the final reason or the fourth and final, yeah, the four, fourth and final reason um, being certified in your coaching bit in your coaching niche will massively grow your coaching business is that it validates your pricing. Let's go back to the analogy that I use with the doctor, with the primary care physician, right? You have to pay a certain amount. Your insurance company pays a certain amount. They review your whole body, so forth. Good, sweet. But when you go to a specialist, have you noticed that your bill is a little higher? right? You're paying a little bit more. Why? Because I'm going to someone who has specialized in solving this problem. And specialty work requires specialty attention, specialty education. It provides, a, it, it, it means that a person has taken a little bit more time in focusing on this particular area so that I am well versed in this area and I can help solve this, this problem from many different angles right? This is what validates the price. Now your specific ideal client has no problem making the four figure investment because they know that they're investing in an expert, right? They know that you've gone through the proper training. I have no problem with going to someone who I know who have received the proper training and growing in this particular area. This means they specializes in this particular area right? They specialize in solving this problem. When you go, let, I'll use, I'll use my nail tech, for example. Um, I've switched since, um, unfortunately, since the pandemic, when everything closed down or since the stay home, stay safe, because we're not going to go there. Um, since the stay home, stay safe, you know, we had to stop doing everything that we were normally doing, right? So I had to stop going to my nail tech. I never thought in a million years I would stop going to my nail tech. But then I started going natural with my nails. And I finally found a nail tech who specializes in natural nail care. Right. And don't get me wrong. My services are a little bit more <laughs> than what they would be if I went to a traditional nail salon. Well, why? Because she specializes in natural nail. So there's no, it's, it's nothing that I have to think about whether or not I'm going to make the investment because I know she's taking her time to study this specific area. It's the same thing with you and your coaching. When you're taking the appropriate amount of time to study in a particular area, what it does is it increases your visibility. So now people are watching your content differently. They're listening to you differently because why? They're considering you to be the expert. This validates your pricing, right? So we're talking about how being certified in your coaching niche will massively grow your coaching business. So here are a few myths that I want to help you completely eliminate if you're wondering, you know, well, number one, if I narrow my niche, Latoya, I'm going to limit my reach. How many of you think that? If I narrow my niche, I'm going to limit my reach. That is a myth and it is a lie. It is not the truth. Let me tell you why. The more specific you become in the problem that you're called to solve, the more your message is magnified. Now you're speaking to people who are looking for you, right? Versus being general or trying to solve every problem for everyone. What this creates is this umbrella. And so now your umbrella is looking like the rest of the umbrellas. But when you say, no, I am here to not only stop the rain, but I have a cup on the side of my umbrella that catches the rain to water your grass. I don't know. I'm just using that as an example. Now you are showing up as an expert, right? Yes, you thought that. I love that. No, narrowing your niche does not limit your reach. Let me tell you another myth. I love that. Thank you so much for sharing that. 
limiting a uh, narrowing your niche does not limit your reach it magnifies your message understand that the moment you identify the specific problem that you're called to solve when you show up to solve that problem it magnifies the transformation in your client's life let me tell you why because the moment that you begin to the moment that your client is able to see growth in other areas outside of what they hired you to help them in that's when your transformation your transformation magnifies i'll use chase great university as an example when you enroll into chase great university we're here to solve the problem of lack of clarity and lack of confidence right and so who says that rejection is connected to clarity or confidence. I came to you so that I can get clarity in my coaching business so that I can hit the six figure money milestone. And I just want to be able to show up on social media. But what if as we're going through our training, you begin to recognize that rejection is really the reason why you haven't been able to show up. So not only are you gaining the training that you need to get clarity in your messaging, your specific ideal client, and your in the niche and the problem that you're called to solve you're getting clarity in your coach to client language and how to show up and coach your client but now you're working on other areas where you're being healed from rejection you're being healed from abandonment you're being healed from all of these different areas and now you're showing up to family functions you're going to work and you're different one thing that I love, and, and this is something that one of the coaches in Chase Great University shared in one of her testimonials, she talked about how she's a better wife because of Chase Great University. When I tell you that that did something to me because it showed me the, the exact thing that God showed me. He said, when you focus on solving a specific problem, that specific problem is then connected to other problems. And then now not only are you able to solve that one problem, but you're able to solve so many more. So for those of you who feel that narrowing your niche is going to stop you from being able to show up and truly shine in the other areas that you serve and you're able to help your client grow in, that is not what narrowing your niche will do, right? Narrowing your niche is helping you establish yourself as the expert so that your client know that I'm going to someone who is well-educated and well-versed in solving this specific problem. Once you're able to, once you start working with that client, you're going to create a massive shift and transformation because not only are you able to solve that specific problem, but now you've helped other areas in their life. Right. We're talking about how being certified in your coaching niche will massively grow your business. This will change the trajectory of your life. Because you're not building the business to gain a, a lot of clients, you're building the business to change lives. And so understand that the moment that you solve this specific problem in the life of your specific ideal client, what it then does is it then changes the life of the people that are connected to them. Right. So we've talked about it increases your credibility. It increases your convertibility. It increases your visibility. And then lastly, it validates your pricing. We've eliminated some myths. If you have anything that you want to add to that, if you're saying, Latoya, this is what I heard about um, narrowing my niche, put it in the comments. If you're having a hard time discovering your niche and learning how to be niche specific in your coaching business, then I encourage you to go ahead and click the link above in the caption and learn more about Chase Great University and how we can help you generate high impact and high income in your coaching business while building a six figure coaching business in your niche. If you're looking to generate high income and high impact, you want to become niche specific. You want to become niche certified. And Chase Great University offers that certification, right? We focus on three areas, the gift of coaching, the skill of coaching, and the business of coaching. There are a lot of programs who will provide you certifi certification in the skill, right? But are they helping you mature the gift? 
Are they helping you grow the business? These are things that you want to consider. Do you understand coach to client language? Do you know how to speak directly to your specific ideal client in your, in your copywriting, right? Understand that your content is designed to tell the story. Your copywriting is designed to sell the service and your curriculum is designed to transform the client. So my question is, is are you solid in all three of those areas? We're talking about reasons why being certified in your niche will massively grow your coaching business. Chase Great University provides support and training in developing content and learning how to write copy and building out your curriculum. This is what's going to create that increased visibility, credibility, convertibility, and this is what validates your pricing, right? So again, we're talking about how being certified in your coaching niche, how will this grow your coaching business? There is a massive difference between being a life coach and a niche specific coach. Learning how to operate as a niche specific coach, right? Because there's a difference. There's a difference in your show up. There's a difference in how you bring forth content. There's a difference in your level of confidence. There's a difference in what your specific ideal client is, <laughs> what your specific ideal client is willing to invest in your coaching program. So if you're looking to transition from hourly coaching where you are exchanging your time for money and you're looking to grow into a business where you are exchanging transformation for profit, then you want to consider becoming niche specific. Right. You want to consider becoming niche certified. And Chase Great University offers the, the different components needed so that you can not only establish yourself as the expert, but so that you can make sure that you are doing more than just exchanging time for money, but that you're exchanging profit for transformation and you are building a business that will generate both high income and high impact in the lives of your specific ideal client. The question is, do you really want to uh, do you really want to stand out in the industry? Because being niche certified is what helps you stand out in the industry. You don't have to fumble through content. One of the one of the issues that I hear a lot of coaches struggle with is not having content. One of the trainings that we provide here in the Chase Gray University program is how to create niche specific content. When you know how to create niche specific content, you never run out of something to say. How many of you have seen, you know, those, uh, it's a, it's definitely a, 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 what's the word that I'm looking for? They're trying to get you to engage on their posts. When they ask if you could, you know, teach in 30 minutes, if you could speak in 30 minutes, what would you speak on? This is where you being niche specific comes in handy because it doesn't matter what stage you stand on. It doesn't matter what live you get on or what clubhouse room you're in. You know how to show up as the expert in solving a specific problem. So now, even if you're in a room filled with people who don't need you because you've come well educated and well versed, they're going to be able to do what? Go and tell someone else about you. I know a coach who's a mindset coach and they solve this problem. I know a self-care coach who solves this problem. I know a freedom coach that solves this problem. One of the reasons why the Chase Great Knit Certification Program was birthed is because I remember the exact day that God called me a vision coach. I remember it like it was yesterday. When he called me a vision coach, I was lost. I said, how in the world? Because when I went to go study certification programs, all I found was life coaching certification programs. And I knew that God didn't call me to be a life coach. That's not what he called me to be, right? And so I struggled. So when it was time for me to show up in front of audiences, I didn't know how to properly introduce myself and tell the world how I was able to serve them because I was too ashamed to say that I was a vision coach. The exact thing that God had called me to, excuse me, called me to because I didn't know how to explain 
who, who I was and what I did, right? And so the niche certification program is designed to mature the gift, to nurture the gift. What is your gift? We know that coaching is the gift because, and here's the thing, this is what I love about coaching and operating in the gift of coaching because we talk about purpose, right? We talk about purpose all the time. And I remember, and if for those of you who've been following Chase Great for as many years as we've been here, which is 10 years in February, um, we used to talk about purpose discovery a lot, y'all. We used to talk about purpose discovery a whole lot. And I remember when, when the Holy Spirit, you know, kind of checked me about that. Like, listen to what you're saying. You keep telling people you're going to help them discover. I'm going to help you discover your purpose, your purpose, your purpose. And he said, what's happening is, is people are starting to feel entitled and they're starting to take ownership of the gift that I've given them. And the gift isn't your purpose. He's giving you the gift to fulfill his purpose. Right. Your gift in coaching was given to you to fulfill his purpose. Well, what is his purpose? His purpose of, is number one is that we all might be saved. That's number one. His second purpose. And this is why he sent his son is so that you can do what his son. He sent his son to die on the cross for me and you. So why? So that we can live and live life more abundantly. So not only did he give you the gift to fulfill his purpose, but he gave you the gift so that you can live and live life more abundantly. Well, what does more abundance look like in your life? Because more abundance means no struggle, right? Now, it doesn't mean, let me, let me, let me correct you before anybody even say this. It doesn't mean that you won't go through trial, right? Because the Bible says that we're going to go through it right? Oh, you're going to go through it. The difference is as a believer, as a woman who serves Christ, when I go through it, I know that I'm going to get through it. And I know that God will not leave me nor forsake me. I know that he's going to give me the tool and the strategy to push through, right? So while we're using our gift, he said, I want you to live and live life more abundant. That means I don't want you to live a life of stress. I don't want you to live a life of struggle. I don't want you to feel, live a life of defeat and discouragement. So I want you to use this gift so that you can live and live more abundantly and learn how to monetize the gift so that you aren't in lack. But if we don't know how to monetize the gift and we allow mental chatter to come in and tell us that you can't sell ministry, right? And so, no, you cannot sell ministry. But again, as I shared with you before, when you are a believer in Christ, ministry is in your heart. You're not selling ministry, you're selling strategy. Here is why it's important for you to invest in a coach because what, listen, y'all, I, I just shared with you, I've been doing this since 2012. It took me a solid, I was a startup coach. When I talk about the startup coach, I'm talking about the coach. Um, is Being a startup coach is not based on the amount of time you've been coaching, but your ability to generate high impact and high income in your coaching business. I was a startup coach for a solid five years, y'all. I mean, probably longer. Right. And so the NIT certification program is designed to take you through things is, is designed to accelerate your learning so that you didn't have to take the amount of time it took me to finally understand. Right. My gift in coaching that God has given me so that I can live and live life more abundantly. He's given me this gift so that I can fulfill his purpose and serve you so that I can help you live and live life more abundantly in your gift. So don't do like I did and spend countless hours on YouTube and on Google. Well, nowadays, our YouTube and our Google is like TikTok and Instagram, right? So don't spend so much time on social media consuming information, trying to piece it together and figure it out when you can go to the resource that God has sent you to serve you so that you can establish yourself as the expert in the gift that he's given you so that you can serve the people at the level that he truly desires you to serve without struggle 
or without lack. Right. We're talking about how being certified in your niche can truly grow your coaching business. And it is this deep, y'all. It is this deep. Right. Why? Because I want you to take your gift in coaching seriously. Your specific ideal client is waiting on you, but they're waiting for you to show up with a different level of thinking. They're waiting for you to show up with a different level of clarity. They're waiting for you to show up with a different level of confidence. Chase Great University serves our clients so that you can gain clarity, so that you can gain confidence in the exact thing that God has called you to do. Listen, more abundance means overflow. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ministry is in my heart, y'all. I don't I can't sell ministry. Even it, there's there's no way. It's, it's, it's impossible because I could be in a grocery store and if I have something to say, if something provokes me to teach or to minister or to whatever, then guess what? I'm going to adhere to what the Holy Spirit tells me. But when it comes down to us sitting down and creating a plan and implementing strategy, that's where the investment comes in. And here at Chase Great University, we help you craft your investment so that you can value your value. I want to help you change the way you look at your value. I want to help you change the way you look at money so that you can see that the gift that you've been given in coaching, once you begin to truly develop the skill and you work on growing the business, that's living and that's living more abundantly. So listen, I am open to address any questions that you may have. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to drop them in the comments. I I am here to serve you today. So if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments um, because I want to address any questions that you may have. I am here to share how being certified in your coaching niche will grow your coaching business. If you are ready to generate high impact and high income in your in your coaching business. You're ready to establish yourself as the expert. You don't want to waste any more time trying to figure it out, right? You don't want, listen, we've wasted enough time trying to piece together solutions. We've wasted enough time tr- going from platform to platform and coach to coach and download to download trying to piece together a solution. You enrolling into Chase Great University is going to change not only the trajectory of your business, but it's going to change the trajectory of your life and your specific ideal client's life. For those of you as a signing bonus for the month of January, for anyone who completes their enrollment in the month of January, you will receive a complimentary ticket to the Six Figure Shift Conference May 12th through the 14th, 2022 here in Michigan. Listen, this conference is going to be different. I know we say this every year. I know that this is like what people say when they want you to come to their event, but this is going to be different. We are not going to have a panel of speakers um, pouring into you and you consuming everything. We're going to have a hands-on experience where the facilitators are going to be in the room and instead of us teaching at you, we're going to be working with you and we're going to Uh, customize this experience for you. So whatever area you are having difficulty in, whether or not it's your message, if it's your your niche specific content, if it's your specific ideal client, if you're trying to figure out how to design and develop your curriculum, if you're having a hard time shifting your thinking um, as it pertains to your investment or the pricing of your programming, you're going to have the hands-on experience in during the six figure shift conference and your enrollment this month will secure your seat because you'll get a vip ticket you'll get a complimentary ticket so go ahead click the link in the caption share your information so that you can get more information about chase great university our enrollment coordinator will be in contact with you within 48 to 72 hours Give yourself some time to review our private training. We have a private training um, specifically for you so that you can 
uh, truly understand how Chase Great University can help you increase uh, your, or I'm sorry, help you generate high impact and high income in your coaching business. We shared the three must haves you need in your coaching business to take your coaching business to the six figure money milestone in your coaching niche. If this is a goal of yours, you want to click the link and you want to enroll in Chase Great University. If your goal is to generate high impact and high income, you're ready to hit that six figure money milestone. You're looking for the hands on support. Listen, one of the things that you get the moment you enroll in our program is your own personal coach. We connect you with a Chase Great client success coach who's going to help navigate you through the curriculum and through the process so that you're getting a hands-on experience. This is a serious transformation, right? We're serious about what we do. So listen, I invite you to go ahead, click the link in the, in the caption, submit your information. A enrollment coordinator will be uh, in contact with you within 48 to 72 hours. Complete your enrollment in the month of January for your complimentary ticket to the Six Figure Shift Conference. This conference is for coaches. We're here to help shift your faith so that you can shift your business. If you're ready to shift in your business and really build this business the way that God showed you, then let's make it happen. We The difference between the person who is exchanging time for money the freelancer, the sole proprietor, the person who's building their business based off of a hobby or for pastime, this isn't for you. It's not. But if you're ready to build a business where you're building a team, where you're changing lives, where you're impacting people, then I encourage you to click the link and join us. If you are, if you have any questions for me, do not hesitate to drop them in the comments or you can send me an inbox. Alrighty, y'all, my kids are getting out of school, so I have to go. So if you have any questions, feel free to inbox me. Drop your questions in the comments. Thank you so much for rocking out for me. I look forward to talking with you. Make sure you click the link in the caption so that you can access more information in the private training on Chase Great University. Our enrollment coordinator will be in contact with you within the next 48 to 72 hours. So make sure you are on the lookout for that phone call. And I look forward to seeing you inside of Chase Great University. Have a fantastic Wednesday. Today is Tuesday. Have a fantastic Tuesday and be blessed.